Hello everyone, how's it going? So today we are going to do an implementation of YOLO version 5 object detection on some images and videos. So let's see how some of the outputs look out. So let's see how we can do this. Now, before I go into the code and see how we can implement it, I want to explain what YOLO version 5 is or and what's the controversy and everything which is going on behind it. So YOLO version 4 and YOLO version 3, in fact, all the versions of YOLO starting from the beginning, were all maintained by this gentleman by the name Joseph Redman. And this uses the Darknet application, which was developed by them. And then YOLO version 4 came out very recently. The, and this is by, uh, there were three people. And one of them, I, I believe this is a G Russian gentleman. And he came out with this application of YOLO version V4. Now, all of these are published papers. Then these guys really did a lot of effort into making this. There is quite a bit of you know energy and work gone in into making these YOLO versions and suddenly back in May or June YOLO version 5 came out and this gentleman Glenn Josher he's not affiliated with uh, any of the previous versions of YOLO and uh, he was working on YOLO version 3 and he made some modifications and I mean uh, to be honest those were modifications were really good the output that came out with respect to YOLO version 5 is really good. But the AI community does, is not approving this. And of course, he did not publish any papers on this anyways. And he's not uh, asking for any recognition in that aspect. But he named the file YOLO version 5. He, made, he named his model, his application YOLO version 5, which is causing some sort of distress because, uh, they are, I mean, there are people are trying to, I don't know if they're believing that it's tarnishing the original image. But uh, these guys mentioned that they, they, they don't care. Anyways, so th this is where YOLO version 5 is coming through. Uh, I don't know if you want to implement this in, in a long-term application or not, but definitely he has given some statistics and shown how easy it has. The major improvement in terms of the older versions is the speed the amount of speed it requires the fps has increased significantly so it's almost close to real-time application and that is where the yolo version 5 could be very helpful and it is coming close to the efficient debt so the, this is uh, another object detection model which has very good performance but of course it is slow and uh, yolo version 5s on the other hand are faster but uh, in terms of accuracy, they don't, they're not very close to the efficient debt. So anyways, coming back to how we can implement this. So the first step is going to the link. Uh, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel if it's something that you want to continue you know, following along and where we are going to be coming up with different types of challenges, different types of applications that can really help us grow in this field of AI, computer vision, IoT as well. So if it's something that is interesting to you please go ahead and subscribe so that you can join along our journey throughout this channel so the first step is there is a link in the description which gives us this google collab link so open up this google collab link and uh, you can go ahead and sign in with your own account over here and you are in this so i'll go step by step and i'll explain you what each step is doing so you can go ahead and simply run along with me so you're, the first step is you're cloning this repository and then it is this particular repository over here by the Glenn Code Joshua guy, YOLO version 5. So I just cloned this library and it opens and closed this library first. So notice nothing is over here and if I refresh this, if I close this and I open back again, YOLO version 5 pops up. That's because this particular uh, cloned library is available for us. And if I open this and we can see all these YOLO version 5 
files are available for us. The next step is you want to change the directory and let Google Colab know that you want to open YOLO version 5. So it comes in the, the YOLO version 5 over here. The third step is to install all the requirements. So there's a requirements.txt file. Now some of these requirements are not, not uh, compatible with Colab, but for so far what I've, what I've done, it is working out and uh, I have had no issues. So it shouldn't be a problem for you as well. But if it does, leave a comment and I'll be happy to help you. So go ahead and play the button. So it will uh, download and install each of these requirements and dependencies that this particular version requires. The uh, YOLO version 5 was based on the PyTorch version. So he made it on PyTorch and it will uh, install all the dependencies for us. So I can come back once it's done. But I do want to show you because there is one step that we are that is very crucial for us. So I don't want you to miss that. Let's wait for a few seconds. It's almost done. If you want, you can skip for a few seconds and come back. Okay, so it's ready now. So you it will come up with this particular button where it says restart runtime. Go ahead and press that. What it, it comes up with this error warning. Just press yes, nothing will happen. Now, one thing you want to do is go back to step two and do this change directory because you have restarted your runtime. YOLO version 5 is already there, so we don't need to clone it again, but it, it has thrown you out of the directory. So you have to go back to YOLO version 5. And for that purpose, play this step two button again so that it can open up the YOLO version 5 for us. So now once we do that, come back here, now this gentleman has already provided some images for us to test and it is available in this inference folder right here so if you open up inference folder there is another folder called images and under images there are two images one is the bus and the other is the zidan image so you can run this image by doing python detect.py and then detect.py is the python application that is going to do the object detection for us and you're providing some arguments to it. The first argument is the image. So the image, you need to provide this particular path, which is under inference, under images, and then which image you want to run, which is the Zidane image. So if I press play button, it will run object detection on this Zidane image. And once this is done, it will automatically create an output folder under the inference email, under the inference folder. So if I minimize this and open back again, we will now see an output folder that has come up here. And this output folder will have the image, which is with the object detection on it. So like under the images folder, there is already the source image. And this is the output image, which will have the object detection on it. So if uh, we want to see how that object, how that image looks like, so come here and it's just pr uh, press the play button. This is the OpenCV application where it's going to open and display the image for us. So you can see how the uh, object has been detected. It's even going to the extent of detecting the tie in a, in a very noisy image, now, of course. So th that's how you can do detection on images. Now, if you have your own image that you want to run object detection on, go into the image folders, right click and then press upload. And you have different types of images here. Now, for example, if I have this particular one, I'm going to do street.jpg. Now, I do want to show what the original .street.jpg image looks like. So for that purpose, I will change this particular over here. So instead of output, I'll show you the image, the original image. So you have an idea of what this image is, and then you can appreciate uh, how the uh, object detection works even on a very very noisy image so we have this original image and you can see how how many people and how many objects are available and different colors are involved and we can see how this object detection is going to run on this particular image so we'll come back here and we will instead of zidane image we're going to provide this image that we just uploaded that's the street.jpg so I'm going to re rename the Zidane image by street.jpg and then just press the play button on it. So it's going to run the object detection version on it. 
once it's done we now can display the image now I, of course we need to change this because I changed it in order to, to show you but uh, when you open it uh, when you open the fresh collab file you won't have this information so that's nothing to worry about so I'm changing the folder to output street.jpg and just press the play button so we can see now that the image has changed and you can see how it can it is able to detect all these images and all the different types of objects the person and in the image so that, that's how it can do on images now what about videos how do you want to do videos so here there's a, a different code for this and what you want to do is first create a folder by the word by the name videos because I'm this particular collab file is designed to do that and you can so it's using the folder video so for that purpose now let me minimize everything so under the inference folder create a new folder by right clicking new folder and call it videos and once you have the videos folder upload whatever video you have you want to run the inference on so for example if I right click upload and I have certain videos here I'm going to upload this running.mp4 and just open it up so it's going to take a few seconds and it will upload our video from our local drive on the, from our computer to Google Collab and it will it should come up here under the videos folder let's give it a few seconds it's almost done okay so now we can see that it's running.mp4 is up there running so come back to python detect.py source inference videos and then change the file name so i i had it as street.mp4 but change it to running.mp4 or whatever video file or whatever name you have and just make sure everything is everything else is fine these are all the weights for the information and the configuration folders of the yolo version 5 so nothing for uh, nothing else for us to worry about unless you are uh, interested in developing your own custom model we'll see how we can do that in the later future videos so once we have everything set up just press the play button and it will do the inferences on the running.mp4 video so you can see that it's reading each frame from the video so it, it has about 469 frames in that video and it's reading each and every frame from the video and doing object detection you can see how it's been able to see the number of people the number of objects it's seeing tennis rackets per person so I, this is basically a video that one of the videos that you saw in the beginning so it will take a few seconds and it will run the videos and it will give out give us an output the output will be available under the output dot folder right here running dot mp4 now one thing uh, what is happening is the detect dot pi application which he made which the original author made uh, it's renaming the output folder every time so your original the, the initial object detection files the images or the other videos that you have run those will be deleted and they'll be overwritten by this new objects no new files that you run so just make sure that uh, if it's something you're doing for different images or different videos so you're downloading them one after the other now it is running on Google Collab so it makes it easier for us we are not using the GPU version we are just using the regular version so it, it is it's fairly fine and you can see how fast it is going doing the inferences on each frame and after a few seconds everything should be done uh, and you can download this by going under here output running.mp4 and you just press download it will download it for you so I, I guess with that we come to the conclusion of this particular video we can see how easy it is to implement in a Google Collab and these are just five simple steps for you to help again if it's something that is helping you do go ahead and subscribe to the channel with that I come to the conclusion and if you are interested in any particular projects or any particular applications that you want to focus on you want to grow in leave a comment and I'll be happy to look into for you so with that take care stay safe bye bye